What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. As you guys know, not only am I a collector, but I also am an active gamer. I'm always gaming on the PlayStation 4. About a month ago, I purchased finally a PlayStation 1 and added it to my collection. So currently I have a complete PlayStation console collection from the PlayStation 1 to the PlayStation 4. Later this year, the PlayStation 5 is going to be dropping. I might get it at launch. If I don't, within the first year, I'm going to be getting it, adding it to my collection, and being able to game on the PlayStation 5. Now, one thing that I've never purchased was a PlayStation handheld device. So today, I finally picked up a PlayStation handheld device, a PlayStation Vita. Now, the Vita was discontinued in 2019, but the servers are still active, which is awesome because I actually plan on playing this console. Now, the Vita, this one here, is the slim version. The regular version around the sides here had a silver base. This is all plastic. It's just a, basically a slimmer version for the PlayStation Vita for what it used to be, which was a little bit bulkier. Now, I did want to get a PlayStation Portable. Eventually, I will and add it to my collection just so I have everything PlayStation that has been released. Now, this here cost me $125, which some people say that's a little bit ridiculous. A lot of people say you can get them for well under $100. Unfortunately, in my area, because they are discontinued in 2019, they are harder to find and the price of them is going up. Honestly, they're going anywhere between $200 and $250 right now. So to find this for $125 was a great deal, and it's the lowest one that I've found for a long time. However, I finally purchased one, and the reason why I decided to purchase the Vita over the Portable is so I can play games that came out within the past couple years, newer games, and the servers are still active so I can still get trophies. Recently on the PlayStation 4, I've been purchasing indie games, some Rada Platts games that are less than $5 each, and they had a great sale recently in August which was awesome. Um, that's about the time that I actually purchased this. And this here, the games on the PlayStation 4, not only included the PlayStation 4 version for that game, but also for the Vita. So I knew I wanted to purchase the Vita and there's been games since I got the PlayStation 4. That's when I purchased them on the store. They included the Vita game as well. So right now I have a bunch of games on the PlayStation Vita that I can play and I get to the chance to finally play a PlayStation Vita. Now the games that are on here, like I said, they're easy platinum games, but some of them are really fun. For example, Attack of the Toy Tanks, Ink Explosion, Super Destronaut, which is basically like Space Invaders, one of my favorite retro video games, and some other Rata games as well. A lot of people hate them because they're easy, quick platinums, but I kind of really enjoy some of them, which I now have a PlayStation Vita version to play them. I already beat them and platinumed them on the PlayStation 4, I just get to play them again. So whenever they were only a couple bucks, that to me is a great opportunity, not only to get more trophies and more platinums, but just to play the games. But this is not gonna be my main console. This is gonna be played in between my main games on the PlayStation 4. Right now on the PlayStation 4, I am working on Far Cry 3. Once I have that done, Far Cry 4, along with a few other games. I have a Tomb Raider game and a couple of other things I'm working on, along with Deadpool. I kind of have a bunch of things that I'm working on. So in between my main game, whenever I'm tired of playing my main games that I'm trying to finish, I now will have the opportunity to play the Vita, which is why I purchased it. So it's awesome. Instead of me focusing and really dialing into looking and watching the TV all night, Whenever I play this, I can just lay down on the couch and play the Vita, which is going to be a lot of fun. And I honestly can't wait to start playing the Vita more. Now, this did not come with the charger, but it's a standard micro USB, which I have tons for, for charging my PS4 controllers. So I'm good there. And it did include two other games, an MLB game and a FIFA game, which is not why I wanted to purchase this for those games. Eventually, if I'm in EB Games, Walmarts, if they still carry Vita, I'm not sure if they do. Yard sales, flea markets, marketplace, anything like that. If I find any Vita games that are cheap, that I think are going to be interesting to play, I might purchase them and look into getting more games for this. But right now I have almost 20 games that I had the PlayStation 4 version. And whenever I bought this and synced my accounts to it, I was able to download those games on the Vita, which I thought was pretty cool. So I have a bunch of games already to play. So again, I'm going to be looking for other games, preferably Lego games, Lego Jurassic Park for the Vita or Jurassic World, whatever it's called. I played it on the PS4. It was a lot of fun. I love Lego games, so I think I'm going to be on the lookout for that for the Vita, but I think this is awesome. Now, 
for 125, you can expect some minor issues with it. There is, you guys can hardly see, some minor scratches up here. Whenever you're gaming, you can't really notice them. But since it's off right now, I kind of can, but they don't notice and they don't bother me too much, honestly. There is surprisingly no wear on the buttons, which is weird. The back, however, you can see some scuff marks a little bit, but very minor. And since this is something that I'm actually going to be using and playing, it's not something that I needed to be in pristine condition, I'm okay with it being like this. It is in pretty good condition in my opinion. It doesn't look like the kid that owned it really tossed it around or threw it or anything like that. So it's awesome to just finally get a chance to play it. Something that I never had in the past. So I just wanted to make this quick little video sharing this with you guys. There's a couple games that I'm working on on this in between my main games. So comment down below what you guys thought of the PlayStation Vita. What games I should be on the lookout for. Like I said, Jurassic World for Lego is something I'm looking forward to. Plus some other games. Or what games that were on the Vita and the PlayStation 4. Did you prefer to play on the PlayStation Vita just because it was a little bit easier to play mechanical-wise or gameplay-wise? Let me know what you guys think, what other games I should be on the lookout for, and should I eventually get the PlayStation Portable if I find one cheap enough just to complete my PlayStation collection? This is the first handheld device for PlayStation that I've owned, and I'm thinking that eventually they might, a couple years down the line, Bring something else out. You guys see handheld devices are always becoming successful. Of course, the Nintendo Switch is very popular right now. I could see in a few years PlayStation bringing out another handheld device, which I think is going to be awesome. And it's just what PlayStation needs for the market, in my opinion. People still like their handheld devices. Why not give the people what they want? So comment down below what you guys think of the PlayStation Vita. I'm going to leave this video here. Please take care. Peace.